With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question is, a tent is of the shape of a right circular cylinder up to height 3 meters and then becomes a right circular cone with a maximum height of 3.5 meters above the ground. Calculate the cost of painting the inner surface of the tent at rupees 4 per square meter if the radius of the base is 14 meters okay so let's say this is our tent where the cylindrical part is 3 meter and the height of the cylindrical part is 3 meter and the height of that um, conical part is uh, 13 minus 3 that means 13.5 minus 3 that means 10.5 meter because it is said that the total height of the tent is 13.5 meter as the base that means the cylindrical part is 3 meter then the conical part will have the height of 10.5 meter okay now the radius of the conical part is given to be 14 meter so let's write radius of cylindrical portion is 14 meter similarly the radius of the conical part will also be 14 meter the radius of conical part is equal to 14 meter okay and our height is height of conical part is 13.5 minus 3 meter which is equals to 10.5 meter okay so therefore the slant height slant height of conical part will be equals to root under okay what is the slant height this part this b a is the slant height so if it is 14 this is 10.5 so we can say this is a right angle cone that means we will use pythagoras theorem here so a v that means the slant height of the conical part will be equals to root under 14 square plus 10.5 square which is equals to root under 306.25 meter which is equals to 17.5 meter okay so this is the slant height of the conical part so the curved surface area therefore the therefore the curved surface area of conical part will be equals to pi r into pi r into slant height okay which is equals to pi means 22 divided by 7 multiply the r is 14 multiplied by 17.5 okay this slant height is also denoted by l okay so the basic formula is pi r l that means pi r into slant height so it will be 22 by 7 into 14 into 17.5 meter square which is equals to 770 meter square now we will calculate the curve surface area of the cylindrical part now for the cylindrical part the base of the cylindrical part the base of the cylindrical base of the cylindrical part has has 14 meter radius okay so the radius of the cylindrical part is 14 meter and the height of cylindrical part is equals to 3 meter it is given in the question so the curved surface area of the cylindrical part will be so therefore you can write curved surface area area of the cylindrical part will be equals to 2 pi r h that means 2 into pi into r into h which is equal to 2 into 
22 by 7 into r means 3 okay r is 14 r is 14 okay and h is 3 okay 2 into 22 by 7 into 14 into 3 which is equals to Two hundred sixty-four meter square. Okay, so this is the curved surface area of the cylindrical part, and earlier we find out the curved surface area of the conical part, which was seven seventy meter square. So therefore, we can write the total curved surface area total curved surface area. is equals to 770 plus 264 meter square which is equals to 1034 meter square okay now the cost of painting will be therefore the cost of painting is it is said that the cost of painting is 4 rupees per meter square so it is 10 Three four that means one thousand thirty four meter square. So it will be one thousand thirty four into four rupees, which is equals to four one three six. That means four thousand one hundred thirty six rupees. So the total cost of painting will be four hundred uh, four thousand one hundred thirty six rupees. So this is the required solution. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and neat level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.